everyone, it's Lil here from Nikki Craft, and welcome back to another video where today you can see I'm going to be going over the custom NPC mod for you guys. Now in most mods, uh, there there is a very complex part, I'll show you here. There's a lot of stuff here that even I don't understand really, but I'm going to be going over the basis, the most important parts, which is the NPC, um, sorry, it's a really, really, really hard word, NPC wand and mob cloner. Now what that means is NPC and mob is basically the exact same thing. I mean a mob is like this guy right here but he's actually a custom NPC because I have my game mode on peaceful right now and he's a zombie pigman. So you can't you also can't put name tags over guys like the I, actually I don't think you could put name tags over guys like these. I'm not sure if you can, but I'm pretty sure you can. But we have uh, Julian and Jasper joining me today. And then we also have Avery from a couple of our last videos. Now, Avery was actually asking Jasper and Julian how the custom NPC mod works. Since she's a horse trainer, she doesn't know much about herself or how they uh, create a custom NPC. But what you're going to need to do is grab the custom NPC wand and you're gonna right click on the floor and as you can see a custom NPC just spawn in the background so as you can see they look a little bit different than I do they, they have special eyes as you can see they have a little bit more special of eyes you can change that later if you want to change it back to like regular looking eyes but most of the time their eyes are just gonna look like that and it looks regular also with those eyes it adds a small blinking animation as you can see he just did that in the background he's allowed to blink every once in a while you're allowed to blink you're allowed to blink everybody blinks every once in a while so they're chatting right now but we're gonna edit uh lily into Cole for right now and we're gonna have their name shown they can, you can hide it show it or just show it when you're attacking this mob but we're not gonna be attacking Cole for now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna edit his model now for right now I don't have a skin that I'm gonna use specifically for this guy you can edit their skin to um, a texture so from like a file folder you can edit it to a player name. I think that's a, a player name. I'm not really sure. I tried my player name before. It didn't really work, but I'm not sure what player name exactly does. And then you also have URL. So if you like download your skin off of like a skin website and then you hit open in a new tab, right? And then you get that link to the new skin and the skin is going to be really, really tiny. It's going to be like the, the size of the zero here. It's going to be really tiny, but then you just copy the link from above, turn this to URL, and you just paste your URL in here. And so that's how you're going to get the skin. Let's say you wanted to customly make your skin, right? So what we're going to do is you can either hit it to entity or uh, we could just do scale sc scale or entity i forget which one it is i think you have to exit back out of it to go back to a regular person so we have like a regular person here right a regular steve but let's say we wanted an entity we could have like a pony oh my god cold pony <laughs> that's so cool he literally looks like a pegasus we also have a golem an npc dragon oh my god you're really huge um we have an npc crystal so like a uh, an end crystal, an ocelot, all the different things you can imagine. So you have all of those different kinds of stuff, but let's say we were like, all right, well, let's edit our person into an actual Steve, right? Let's edit it into just a reset to an NPC like that. What we can do is we can edit all different things about this person. So let's say we were like, let's give, uh, let's give Cole a beard, right? I can add so many different things to him. I have a a beard one, beard two, beard three, and beard four. So as you can see, you can change them or you can leave them at none. You can also change the color of them. So let's say we were like, uh, we want to give you an orange beard for now, right? So we were going to give him an orange beard. And so for claws, let's say we wanted him to look like Wolverine, right? We have claws and we can make those claws any color we want. Let's make them bright pink. And we also have ears. So you could change their ears. You could change it to like normal. That doesn't look very normal. It actually looks like bunny ears. But then these are real bunny ears. And we're going to give him bunny ears. Let's give him like, or actually let's give him orange bunny ears like his beard. And then we also have eyes. As I was mentioning before, you can change their eyes to a bigger size or just no size. You could just have their eyes regular. It doesn't blink or anything, but I'm going to leave it at one for now. I like that because it has a cool blinking animation. You can also change the color of their eyes. You can change the color of the majority of things that you do. We also have some fins here, which I really think is awesome. You can have like a shark fin for your guy, you can have a reptile fin, and then nothing. But like, you also, th this reptile fin is really cool, but I'm gonna leave it at a shar shark fin for now. We can also change your hair, but uh, unfortunately you can only make the hair like longer, you can't make it shorter or any um, crazier. You can add mohawks, which is really funny, so I'm gonna just 
change his hair and then I'm gonna go to horns, legs, and mohawk, skirt, and snout. And I'm just gonna go through a couple more of them. Now guys, once you're finished with that, you could just exit out. And as you can see, now you have your person. Now he is really, really crazy looking. I mean, honestly, he has like blue horse legs. He has a pink skirt. He has his wolverine claws. He has his beard. He has his snout, which is really weird. Um, he has bull horns, mohawk, ears. It's so cool looking. Now let's say we also wanted uh, Cole to actually be an entity like Fred over here. Fred is one of um, Julian and Jasper's roommate. He's like a really weird guy, but we don't we don't really talk to him. But Fred is actually an entity. And the way we uh, get an entity um, that's not uh, Steve entity. It's actually, I know I'm saying like entity so specifically, but uh, instead of stuttering over it, it's entity or just Steve. Now, as you can see, he's has quote bubbles over him. But let's say I wanted to click entity, right? And I can make um, him into a dragon, parrot, as I was mentioning. Oh my god, that's so cool. They have parrots now. That is really, really cool. Pig zombie, which I showed you before. So let's say we wanted Cole to look like a zombie pigman, right? As you can see, now he's the same size as uh, Fred, right? Well, actually, he's not the same size, but he's the same entity. Now, let's say we want to change their size, right? We can also change their size from 1 to 30. Now, if you notice this in the background, this weird moving particle and this, like, weird thing, Neve, that name up there, I don't even know where that's from. Before I was doing the video, as you can see, this is a wither boss right here. I changed him to size 30, and now he's stuck in the ceiling. So I can't really get him out for right now, so Neve is just gonna be stuck in there. Oh, we can change him to literally a size 1. I'll show you what a size 1 looks like. It is literally like you can fit them in your pocket if you wanted to. They are so tiny and their name tag is even tinier. We can, let's say we wanted to delete Cole and we were like, hey, you know what, Cole, you can sit right here. And Cole, we're gonna make you, we're gonna make you that parrot I saw before, right? And as you can see, guys, now we have Cole. Now, changing their skin isn't the only thing you can do about an NPC. What you could do is go to stats. Uh, AI, which stands for, like, robot, like, a computer robot. You have your inventory, their advanced, like, their role in their job, which I'll get to later, and then global. Global, I don't really use. I don't think you need to use it. If you wanted to make them really, really advanced, I mean, that's what the advanced tab is for, but global, I'm not really sure what global does. I was trying to figure it out before, but it's really really crazy but i'm just gonna be going over stats ai inventory and advanced now now in their stats they have the same health as i do. i think i have 20 health yeah they also have uh respawn health so you can edit it to respawn in and the time that it takes them to respawn you can also add their uh ranged sound so like oh, excuse me range uh distance so as you can see like a skeleton shoots from a far distance but a zombie just comes right up to you and hits you so the way you're going to do this is basically by um editing uh, as you can see here, we have accuracy so around 60%. Let's say we were like, you know what, you're gonna hit accuracy 100% every single time you shoot an arrow at a different person. You can also have resistance to knockback arrows, uh, melee, and explosion. You can make them immune to fire if you want. Yes, I'm gonna make him immune to fire. I'm just gonna make him basically invincible. Uh, I'm gonna make him not to drown, burns in sun, no, like, like a skeleton or a zombie, potion immune, uh, no. So, we also have AI here. We can make them interact with doors just like villagers do. We can make them break straight through doors, open doors, or just just disabled. They can't go through doors. It's kind of like um, like a horse can't go through a doorway, so you have to break the doors down. And so we also have movement. So right here you can make it to standing, and then you can make him move around to the ground. So you can make him wandering if you want to let him wander, but I'm going to make him uh, standing for right now. He doesn't avoid water or do anything like that, so you could just go through these. You'll recognize most of them. Now in their inventory we also have this. So let's say I were to kill Cole, right? Like, I'm not actually gonna kill Cole. Let's say Cole was, like, really, really mean, right? And it was like, you know what? If you kill me, you have a 4% chance of getting this mob cloner, and it's gonna be super, super cool. But let's say we were like, oh, Cole's really easy to kill. You see parrots all the time. You could change it to 100%, so each time you kill this bird, there is a 100% chance they will at least drop one mob cloner. We have the minimum amount of XP and the maximum amount of XP they can collect. Obviously, he's not enchanting anything, so you don't really need to worry about it. We also have advanced over here. Now, let's say we wanted Cole to follow us around, right? Follower on the bottom row is the wrong side. You're gonna want to do it on the top row. So, follower on the top row, what you do is when you hit edit, it says, thank you for hiring me for blank days for like the number of days and then days. My days with you are over, farewell, blank. So that that's what happens when you hire this person. So let's say I was like, all right, well, let's say I wanted to hire him, right? Now Cole is gonna stay there for right now and I wanted to hire him, meaning I wanted him to follow me around. So I'm gonna have him 
I'll, I'll donate him three glass. I'm gonna go straight back to advanced. I'm gonna hit edit and I'm gonna hit three days. So I can have him follow me for up to nine days, I think it is. I don't know if it's 90. I don't know if you, I think you could just hit it up to two digits at most. I'm gonna do like 19 for now. Let's see how 19 works. And maybe he'll follow me for 19 days if I give him three glass. Otherwise you can make him go, all right, well, if you give me uh, these Christmas tree lights, I'll follow you for two days, right? Or three days. And so, as you can see, that allows you to follow them for a certain amount of days. If you leave a spot blank, I don't think you can hire them for anything. I think it's just blank there. But as you can see, when I hit X, now he, he hops every time I edit him. So, as you can see, I'm going to get some glass. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right-click on him. And as you can see, it has 19 days and three days. So then I just put this glass in here, I hit hire, and then thank you for hiring me for 19 days. There we go. And as you can see from before, it shows when over here it says thank you for hiring me for blank number of days, days. So that uh, allows him to follow me around. So I think he follows me around regularly, right? Yeah, so he follows me around. I'm going to go over a couple different stuff like how to clone the mobs. Now let's say I was like, well... Avery actually lives in the overworld. They're chatting right now, but as you can see, Avery actually lives in the older overworld. So let's say I want to clone Avery, right? I'm going to save. You're about to overwrite a clone, yes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the NPC uh, wand. Actually, not the NPC wand, excuse me, that was a mistake. What I'm going to hit is the mob cloner. I'm going to right click, and as you can see, I have Avery here. I hit spawn, and boom, we have two Averys now. So that's really cool. I do that when I need to. Um, I think you can have the teleporter. So yeah, you have the teleporter over here, but I mainly just clone them because it's a lot easier. I don't want them to die or get hurt, so I just, I leave two versions of them. And so now they have one in the nether and one in the overworld. So Cole is stuck up there for now. I don't really know what he's doing, but that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. As you can see, I went over the NPC um, mod, basically how to change their skin, their name, their stats. Um, their robot, like how they act, uh, their inventory, their advanced, like their jobs and stuff. You can also edit their dialogues if you wanted to. And um, so like how they talk, like when they respond to you. And that's pretty much it. And if you just want to delete them, you can delete them. But I suggest you clone them. And most of the time what I want, I, what I usually do is if I wanted a custom skin on them, I most of the time just right click them and open a new URL. It's a lot, lot easier if you just do a URL and just save it just in case you mess up that url and you need to do it again thank you so much jasper julian and avery and cole that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you enjoyed please do leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time goodbye